standing by. Confirm the snares on the arm are open. The vehicle released beginning to move away at 11.53 a.m. Central. And there it is. It's off after five weeks. Docked to the International Space Station, HCV-5, released from the robotic arm Canada Arm-2 at 11.53 a.m. Central Time, while uh, both the station... Uh, and the HTV vehicle were flying about 256 statute miles over the southern Pacific. So again, HTV released about one minute after the departure. Uh, the thrusters will activate. Then at about 11.58 or so, the first departure maneuver uh, should take place. It'll be the first of two, uh, the next one coming just 10 minutes after to uh, begin moving the HTV-5 away from the International Space Station, setting it up for the first descent maneuver, uh, which will take place uh, to begin uh, moving HTV down towards uh, the Earth, setting that up again for that destructive reentry tomorrow afternoon. For the vehicle as it slowly drifts away. We copy that. Thank you. And we're taking uh, the arm to brakes on. We copy and concur. This one more view from the grapple end of the space station's robotic arm just uh, released HTV a few minutes ago. Camille Yui and Chell Lindgren inside the cupola now breaking the arm and putting it back into a safe config. And for uh, time hack purposes, our PET is at 2.30 now. The team here in Houston continuing to get good readings on the attitude and control of HTV as it slowly drifts away. Again, just released uh, about eight minutes ago at 11.53 a.m. Central Time, 12.53 p.m. Eastern. Wrapping up a five-week attached mission to the International Space Station. Station Houston on two for HTB. Abort type is set to passive. Please verify per step six in one decimal six zero two. In which we can verify per step six that the abort type is passive.